I always get these things wrong. <laughs> I don't know where you walk, where it stops it, but... Ah. <sighs> to slow them legs down, love, I'm on the weight cut here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every time we've spoken, you've like manifested and visualized everything, you know, mm -hmm. from the knockout, your rise in the UFC, and yeah. you wanted this, you wanted New York, didn't you? Yeah, I, oh, yeah. and here we are. I think I've absolutely had Mick Maynard's head <laughs> for, in the bin with how many times I've asked for this fight, but... How many times? A good 12, especially when we're drunk post-show. Um, yeah, but I think I've earned it, you know. The boxing, for me, coming from the boxing and this just being the dream, just to have seen your Miguel Cottos, your Roy Jones Juniors, your Katie Taylors, your Conor McGregor's. I'm the Nicky Cowboy, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey guys, welcome to Times Square. What else is it about New York? Why did you want it so badly? I just love everything about it. I love how it's the concrete jungle. I love how everyone who works here, lives here, stands for something. They're really proud of where they're from. Some of the greats are from here in, in, in sport, in acting, in music, it's just... You come here, it's everything you see on the films, and then when you land in Madison Square Garden, you've only got to look at it and just think, what? I'm in a bit of this, but <laughs> it's magic, Caroline. It's just proper magic. Loads of culture, loads of heritage, loads of history. How hard is it with there being so many Irish bars here as well, and at this point in the fight... Well, the after like, party's there, <laughs> Caroline, you'll be coming. But um, yeah. no, it's good. I've got, I've got a big contingent of my Irish family coming over for this one. Um, the Irish culture and heritage here is absolutely amazing, do you know what I mean? And I am very intrigued to see what the crowd's going to be like because I feel like I'm going to be backed well. And uh, we're travelling in droves, but yeah, straight off the boat here, weren't we, back in the day? <laughs> but your opponent, way. and we're going to come on to that later, sh she's from here. Yeah. Do you think you're going to have the biggest support? The biggest cheer? I reckon so, yeah. I feel like she might be highly ranked, she might be from here, but. I don't know, I'm doing a bit more than what she is. I'm probably a bit more of a character than what she is, but she lets her, she lets her chokes and her takes downs do the talking. And I talk and let my elbows do the talking, <laughs> Caroline. So I was in a bar in Liverpool called the Wall of Fame. And I'm dancing as I do, rotten as normal. And some, some fellas just come over to me and just spun at me through his elbow. And I just hit him back. And as I've looked, his tooth was in my elbow. And I was like, and his he's tooth going, was in your his tooth was in my elbow. I was going, what are you doing? He's going, what are you doing? I was like, who are you? I don't know who you are. It's two in the morning. You're running at me. <laughs> like, like you're going to rip me. I said, I just defended myself. This but, is just instinctive now. Yeah, yeah. but it's, um, this is how big it's gone, Caroline. I'll be on, kind of can't do anything anymore um, because everyone's just all for me and like, I'm for what me and Paddy are doing and what our gym's doing. It's really funny, but it's mental as well because I'm, I'm still a woman. And I'm on a night out, I'm seeing a big, fully grown man coming at me with elbows. But I know it's all from the best place, but I'm still like, well, oh, get back. You're always on your guard. Are you getting recognised around here? Yeah, well? being recognised a good few times. Um, everywhere we go, no, I, no, no joke. Everywhere in, the, everywhere in the world we've been, people kind of onto who I am. So that's mad. So I've heard you've got something special planned for your walkout. And I'm thinking, is it going to be some Have kind you? of. I did, yeah. that? No, I just can't tell. Can't tell my sources. Oh. But apparently you got something special planned. Is, is it anything Beatle-esque? Well, if I'm allowed something, then possibly. But if I'm not allowed, it'll just be me coming out with um, the good old Jamie Webster this place. And I just plan to get the gaff absolutely rocking. Um, I can't wait for that walk out. I know how long I've dreamed of it since I've been a kid. It's like, it's just non-stop. That's the thing, it's non-stop on my mind, the imagery when I've been training, it's just been that walk out into, after watching Katie Taylor do it. Um, she's done it to her souls out um, MSG against Amanda Serrano, and just, I watched it just take every second in. And I think I've been caught in the headlights maybe once before, maybe even twice with the occasion. Um, but I'm seasoned now, aren't I? No, fight number 10 for me, so I'm um, 
I won't be carried away by that occasion and by that ring walk, but it's something that I've spent my whole life dreaming about. Is Paddy coming out this week? No, he's coaching. It is better sometimes because, I don't know, he just talks mad pony sometimes. It's like, <laughs> where have you got that from? Um, but then sometimes it can be more about me. Mm. And I think I think it's really good. I said when we fought together in Las Vegas, I wish he had had his own card on his own without me being on it for his first debut. So it was just all about him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But you're so good together though. Yeah, I know. But I, I think mean you th- I think individually obviously you you both risen in your in your own ways, but together it's you know, the, the Molly and Paddy show is fun to watch. It's always been magic even since Cage Warriors, hasn't it? And um, and long may it continue but I think it'll be quite a while maybe till we're on again just because of schedules and how yeah. they're gonna because I'm now he's then. I don't know when we'll catch again, but mm. they'll save the magic if they ever get that stadium. That arena, Dana, put us both on the <laughs> arena, lads. Cheers, my guy. Thank you very much. Trying to find out where Blanchfield's from. So she's taking the green. She's taking the Irish green. Uh. And all my Irish family are coming. You can see how Blanchfield family's moved over time by where Blanchfield name was found in the USA, USA, UK and Canada and Scotland. No Irish connection? No either. green. What are you going to wear? White. White. I got a good elbow on white, didn't I, Caroline? <laughs> so we'll go back to that. You did. Oh, nice to meet you, Jim, boss. Nice you don't care. Thank luck. you, lot. Oh, my God. It's unreal. Caroline, okay. look at that sunset in there, love. Wow. We'll do some chip in there, yeah? Well, we're here at the Chelsea Pier Golf Club. Molly, Hudson River behind us. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? No, I don't think it does. Like you just said, it's one of them pinch me moments, Caroline. Um, I can't get over the backdrop. I can't believe where we are. Can't believe we're going to be able to hit some balls as well. Absolutely, but before all of that, I want to take us back to London. Both mm. London fights this mm. year, actually. And we'll start with the last one. So. Lightning did strike twice. Did. You hit that spinning elbow a second time against Hannah Goldie. Was the feeling different in the aftermath? Because I think back in March in London, the first time you did it, you were bouncing off the walls. I mean, you know, it was just that, oh my God, I've arrived moment. And then you did it again, and it was almost as if you knew you were going to do that. Yeah. And you were a little bit calmer in the aftermath. Talk us through the sort of emotions and how that played out afterwards. UFC London 1, we'll call it for me. I hadn't had them fans. I hadn't been in England for a long time. I was chomping at the bit to get that finish. You know how long have I waited for the finish in the UFC? And then we got a Caroline. And then the crowd's noise when I won, I don't think I slept for about three days. The adrenaline running through me was next level. And to just celebrate that moment with everyone, like you said, I'd just arrived. Look at this, she's setting it up for a couple of seconds as Carolina is coming forward. The second time, I knew I had to be less emotional. I knew I had to show the consistency, show what I've worked on, and that it wasn't luck. Mm. In the workout room, the UFC recorded me doing the same movements with my coach Ellis, mm. and then I went out and just rinse repeated. Um, I was happy with myself. I, like you mm. said, I was more composed. There was a lot more eyes on me for that time. The pressure with Drake putting that accumulated of like two and a bit million on me and Paddy to win. There was a, there was a lot of pressure on me. Do you me. think about that, what people have bet on you? I did then. <laughs> Carolina woke up and my phone's blowing, blowing up. Everyone's going, have you seen this? I'm going, you're lying. You're lying, he hasn't done that. Everyone's screenshot and parlay, scouts parlay. Wow. Oh, Friggin' hell, I can't lose now, can I? So, yeah. Um, I thought that's the last time I'm ever going to feel that pressure. Yeah. And um, I've arrived and I'm supposed to be here. No more imposter syndrome for me. Yeah. But I, I heard as well, so with your Barstool um, sponsorship, mm-hmm. you can just focus purely on training now. Mm-hmm. You know, all of those other external factors have, have gone. You can yeah. focus on training. Mm-hmm. And you've brought in some some interesting people to train with this camp. I've heard Russian wrestlers and, <laughs> yeah. you know, all, all of these, All to help you prepare for Aaron Blanchfield, of course. So talk, talk to us about the camp and who's, who you've been working with. Yeah, I've been so fortunate, you know. Um, I was making money to survive, as everyone does at the beginning of your career. And now Dana and Hunter and Mick and Sean give me an A-fight deal. I'm, I'm set, I'm, a I'm, fight. A-fight deal, I'm good to go, you know. Um, 
I know my worth to the company. I know the analytics that I can generate. Mm. And I know how much the crowd love me and they do. And that's a real, that's a real good feeling, Caroline. And then Dave Portnoy at Bar Steels mm. signed me on a, an extremely good sponsorship. So I've got the, 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 the money to be able to bring people in and, and look after myself that way. So brought in a few uh, Olympic wrestlers, um, a few world champion kickboxers. And Erin's got a really, mm. maybe an awkward striking style, but look, she's had kick girls, knock them mm. out, and do you know what I mean? She's took girls down, her, her, her strengths lie in her grappling. Mm -hmm. um, and I've brought in the best people to put me on my ass um, every day in the gym. So when I get in there, it's not going to happen. And I feel like in the Kim fight in September with me and Paddy in Vegas, I've really shown. Um, I think I held against the. I got a headbutt, yeah. hit the yeah. floor, bounced up. Was against the cage. She couldn't do anything. Luana couldn't grip me, couldn't hold me. Hannah Goldie most definitely couldn't. So I've showed that I can defend the stuff, and I just feel Ellen might be a different grappling style. Might engage wrestling a bit more yeah. if she takes. If she took an elbow or a punch. She's not going to be wanting to take many of them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, what can I do to be the best me? And sometimes with success people can take their eye off the ball mm. and I've just I think every time I win I, I just how can I keep improving and this was a good way for me yeah a lot of people some people have been saying that this is maybe a similar test to your first UFC fight 100%. with with Gillian mm -hmm. um do you see it that way and obviously you're a different fighter now to back then I'd so you finish me Caroline in that fight I'd finish you'd me finish now. you I'd finish me now so do you know if you don't like doing that yeah just do this. Just do that. Yeah, that's what I'm... Not too tense. Yeah. If I go over here. Bend your knees. Ooh. So see how you're going, like... Yeah. It's OK. More like that. Oh, sorry. What's my new teeth, <laughs> Caroline? What's my new teeth? <laughs> She's coming for that ball. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. I don't do it all the time. I want to drive it. Do you feel after Valentina, obviously the champion of your divisions, um, last fight against Talia Santos, do you think that gap narrowed a little bit between her and the rest of the field with what you saw in that fight? I fought Talia. Mm. I've absolutely felt what she's had. Mm. Valentina was very lucky to win that fight. And mm. that's, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but the way I scored it, I mean, I don't like Talia. Right. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't <laughs> like the game, but I feel like I thought it went her way, and I think if she didn't, yeah. if she didn't get head buttered and have one eye, she she may have edged that yeah. one. But I do see it. I think it's just yeah. the rest of the field a bit more. Up. Yeah, we we're gaining momentum, and, and I do think Caroline between one, and fifteen, it's a tiny margin between everyone. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a tiny margin, mm. and yeah, it's. Um, I think we can She's not on the decline, but she's getting older. And I don't know how you're, you... You're getting better and, and, I'm get, and people well, are moving A lot out. of us are, but yeah. I feel like it's my... I'm peaking and I'm priming yeah. at the right time. Yeah. Conor McGregor sent you a message, or you mm. reached out to Conor McGregor mm -hmm. on Instagram asking mm -hmm. for some advice. Yeah. Um, for those that haven't seen it, share with us what it was he said, because you had it printed out, yeah, right? In, yeah. and, and that meant quite a lot to you. Yeah, um, post elbow, first yeah. one, life changed. Mm. And then the second time, I was like, how am I going to cope with this? So. We've spoke quite a lot on Instead of Met Him before, and he was just very humbling. He's a very nice man when I've met him. Mm. And um, I was like, before you couldn't handle it, how did you handle it kind of thing? Do you know what I mean? Like, on the rise, when he had to overcome the adversity with his knee against mm -hmm. Chad Mendes, the constant pullouts with um, Jose Alza, mm -hmm. the uh, Eddie Alvarez fight. How do you reach that? And it's like, it's like everyone who's jumping on you, how do you handle yeah. that? How do you handle being normal and mm. and your life? You don't feel normal sometimes mm. when everyone's on you. You feel like, um, I don't know, I just, I felt really weird. And I was like, I just wanted a piece of advice. And he just kind of said um, some really, really nice words. I was in his, his restaurant, the Blackfords. Yeah. We went as a, a celebration for one of our coaches' birthday, Ellis. 
and I was with his sister all night and I was in the family group chat giving it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I was speaking with Connor, he FaceTimed us. Yeah. And um, he's just like, stay switched on. Don't let people in the gym. You keep that you, that's your safe place. That's your quiet place. Have faith, like, you've already won a belt before. The max coming back. Give Shevchenko a slap and all that. And the, <laughs> the way he was writing to me, I felt like it was like Muhammad Ali-esque. Like, there was so much poetry in the, in the message. And I just thought every day I need to remember who I am and what I'm about and not get above my station, not yeah. think that I'm better than anyone because I'm in a privileged position, but to remember where I'm from, what I'm about, head down, work hard and win a belt and just change my life and my family's life and my gym's life. So it was sick. It was my girlfriend, Ellis, got that printed for me wow. for this camp because it's in like, it's, it's MSG and then, mm. and then the message is on the inside wow. of it. So um, it was just like, don't lose focus because there's been some horrible times in this camp where I've been on my knees, Caroline, mm. and I've just been like, oh, can I even do this? Um, but you know me, I always bounce back, don't I? And the hard work's done now. Oh. Time to fight. Oh, aye. MSG, Saturday night here in New York. Final word on what we can expect. Message to your fans. The best Molly McCann he's ever been. The most composed polished off version that I've given and I promise every single person who's, who's bought a ticket and is coming all the way from England and Ireland, I promise you, we'll be bevying after that fight <laughs> with a 50G bonus. Um, what we're going to do is three shots closest to the white pin right. wins. I don't rate my chances, given that I'm just learning today, but okay, go on, you, you, you start. Oh, you <laughs> It doesn't always work. Oh, I might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy Goosey, baby. Lucy Goosey. Whoa! Oh! Right, well, yours have got the favours so far. I've got furthest, but not closest. Come on. Oh, you... Am I oh. winning, Ma? Yeah, you are, <laughs> love. Oh! <laughs> My coaching's heavy, you know. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I got a good coach. <laughs> I'm gonna f this up, Caroline. You got it. No. <laughs> Go on, height, love. Well done. Oh, I broke my boot. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's some super glue. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> High five. <laughs> You're a great coach, but Thanks. more importantly, thank you for your time no problem, here today. I know it's an important fight week for you. We are rooting for you. Thank Go you. get them. I will. Thanks for beating me. <laughs>